We are with Ian Hall from ESCO. Ian is the VP Market Development in Digital Flex in ESCO. And uh, we would like uh, to talk with you about the technologies of ESCO and the role that uh, is playing ESCO in the Latin American market. Okay. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, what uh, to your mind, Ian, uh, what are the most recent really revolutionary technology technological advancement uh, made in flexographic plate making process? Um, about 2008-2009 we came out with HD Flexor. Mm -hmm. We are fortunate to be able to say that HD Flexor has become almost an industry standard mm -hmm. because now you hear people in seminars, it happened this morning, it happened yesterday here at FTA where people just refer to things as HD, Fle HD Flexor or mm -hmm. HD Technology, which is our name and they are referring to high-resolution imaging. And uh, there's no doubt that high-resolution imaging has been responsible for an increase in the possibility of quality mm -hmm. in labels, flexible packaging, and even in corrugated for people who have used uh, HD Flexor uh, technology. So it, it certainly has, over the last three years, become quite popular. If you look at the growth chart for the increase in digital flexo images, our CDI, mm -hmm. the HD flexo technology is following at about the same rate. So there's good growth, and people are realizing that just making plates is one thing, but if you really want to have a serious mm -hmm. business, you need to have HD so you can compete with other people okay. and make good results. What happened after HD Flexo was last year, we introduced something called Full HD Flexo. Yeah. And Full HD Flexo takes us one step further that we have high resolution imaging but we now also do the main exposure on the CDI using um, a block of uh, LED diodes. Mm -hmm. And this block of LED lights is responsible for a very high consistency all across the plate because when the plate is revolving on the drum, mm -hmm. these lights are permanently on, which means that any place on the plate is getting exactly the same amount of light as you would get anywhere else. Um, so consistency across the plates is a good thing, but consistency between plates. So you make one plate, if you make five plates, they will be exactly the same. Okay. So there's a very high degree of consistency, which is more or less impossible, even in the best control conditions for bank lights, for normal mm -hmm. tube uh, lights. It's very difficult to do. So doing it this way is a, a much uh, easier, much better way. So we could say that's the key benefit with ESCO technology, yes. the consistency. Yeah, because it's very quick, it's mm -hmm. very consistent, and the results you get are extremely uh, good quality results. We are offering, with this light technology, we are offering the possibility for you to make uh, a standard digital plate mm -hmm as you would normally make, or a plate with flat top dots, or a plate with a mixture. So the highlight dots can be normal highlight digital flexo round top round. dots, yeah. with flat top dots in the middle tonal range, mm -hmm. and then microcells in the shadow, because in the shadows and the solids you need small cells to get an increase in the amount of ink that it's going to be laid down mm -hmm. on the printed result. Okay, and uh, Ian, could you tell us a bit about uh, as well the digital flex suite? What is it exactly and which the benefits so, uh, with it? What are allowed the converters of packaging and labels to do? Right. Digital flex suite was conceived, um, we call it DFS for short, it was conceived about four years ago and the primary reason behind it was to make a digital version of what happens in a typical analog site where you lay negatives on an analog plate, you main expose it, you 
process it, and then you cut by hand mm. to make smaller pieces, which are then taken to the mounting department to be mounted on carrier sheets for corrugated, or maybe on a immediately onto a press cylinder for labels. What we did was make a digital version of this, which brings a lot of advantages. One of them being the files are able to be absolutely pixel touching. And that means that when you cut with a knife on the table, on a Konsberg table, it cuts immediately through the middle one time. The old fashioned way would probably mean that you would cut twice. You would cut to separate it, and then you would cut again okay. to make it accurate. Okay. Now we only cut once with the table, which is not only accurate, but it's also very fast, but you only have to cut once. And okay. it doesn't matter how Precision. complex okay. it is, because it's very precise. Okay. We can cut vertical plates, we can cut plates with a bevel for corrugating, mm -hmm. uh, we can cut very complex nesting so that the plates can interlock between each other. Uh, we can drill the plates for position. Uh, we can do many, many functions. So DFS, Digital Flexo Suite, is becoming uh, very popular now. I would say more in the corrugated area right now because there's a lot of savings to be made here, but it's also happening in labels and in uh, flexible packaging. And, um, what do you tell us about the adoption of this technology in Latin America? It's new, it's just okay. starting. Uh, we will be running seminars in uh, Argentina and different countries in May or June with our internal uh, salespeople mm -hmm. and they will bring customers and there okay. seems to be a high interest in doing this. So we fully expect this year to have several sites uh, running in uh, different places, Brazil, Argentina, Colombia.